welcome everybody to day three of the 30 day coding challenge using Python. Uh, I wanted to start with a quote and that quote would read, when I think of math, what comes to mind is probably what you think of when you think of art. And that is not my quote. It's actually a quote from um, Peter Farrell, who dabbles in this intersection of computer science and math as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. And yesterday on our YouTube video, he commented with a way to use uh, location. So if you have time, you could go to the second video and copy and paste that code and take a look. Um, if you want to find all of his work, you can find him uh, on Twitter at Hacking Math. So that's at Hacking Math. Uh, he also has a name Techie Math, which is based on his website. And if you click techiemath.com, it will take you to his site. I was just on here and I would direct you to uh, look at two of his books, which is on the far right, which we've worked with both of them, Math Adventures with Python, and his first one called Hacking Math with, with Python. Both great books, recommend them and recommend his work. So uh, I'm excited to share today, we're going to be working with variables and functions, two of my favorite things. And uh, when I think about variables, I think, what could make this you know program dynamic? And if I can answer that question, I know it requires variables. Dynamic meaning like what could change? How could this thing either move or change? Uh, how could I use this repeatedly or in multiple places? And when I want to use something repeatedly or in multiple spots, I think, oh, well, then I need to declare a function. So I'll show you those two things in depth today. Okay, so I guess maybe not in depth isn't the best word, but I'm going to show you this introduction to both, and then hopefully we can use them in depth as we go along. Um, so, what I've stripped this down to is just our base code. I got rid of all the dynamic color. If you wanted to pause and just kind of get set up in this place on Trinket um, or whatever um, platform you're using, and if I run this code right, it still makes a five point star. I'm going to speed this up a little bit, I think, just for today. So in my setup code here, remember these are comments. They don't actually e execute. I'm going to add uh, t.speed, <coughs> excuse me, turtle.speed. Uh, the fastest speed is actually zero. Um, one would be the slowest. Um, you know, I could run something like 10 just to show you how much faster that is and then compare that to zero if I just ran it at zero. Right, it just blasts right through it. So I'm going to set that to zero for time purposes in the video. And then I would ask you to pause and think about what, what could make this dynamic? What could change in this five point star? Yeah, a couple of things. Maybe you said, like, oh, well, the size of it could change, the length, the length of the pieces, right? Uh, the number of points could change. The color we've already done requires a list, which is very much like a variable. I think we're going to go with the length. But yeah, a lot of things could change, and your list might have been fairly long. So right now, the length is actually at 200 pixels. So let's just say we say um, the length gets equals uh, kind of assigns or initiates the value in this case. So the length gets a value of 200. Now we had 200 written in here for how many pixels we wanted to go, but now since we've defined that or declared that variable, we could um, we could say, okay, well, we're not going forward 200 anymore, we're going forward length. So if I run this, right, it makes the same exact shape. So go ahead and do that. And now we can start playing around with changing it. So we could be like, oh, well, let's, what if we make it 100? There we go, we've got a, a star that's half as big. What if we make it uh, 50? Got a much smaller star. So now the, the idea of a length has, has allowed us to make this um, um, five point star dynamic. It can change size. Uh, what's more, let's say I wanted to make like a row of six of these or something. Then I could be like, okay, well, I want to use this code six more times. And I don't want to copy and paste it six times, just like we didn't, just like we used this looping thing, so we didn't have to copy and paste this six times. So now we've got some kind of a pattern again. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, use the word def. So this is now a function. We've introduced a variable. We're going to say the definition of, let's call our function uh, five star or whatever you wanted to call it. And we're going to use open and close parentheses and then again, uh, colon. 
Now, this is going to define what the function even is. So just like we did with this looping structure, we have to highlight all this code and hit the tab button and tab that indent all of that over one uh, spot. So that, that way the program knows that all of this is included in the code. You know what we'll do? <clears throat> it's interesting in math class, we talk about functions all the time, and they're very similar <clears throat> in our programming structures in that they take in an input and, and produce an output. So why don't we just make the length a parameter that takes in a value like the input would. And so now um, we'll say we're going to take in a length that we want to make the star. And wherever this shows up in the definition, we'll use whatever values here in place of that. Okay, so now if I run this, if I click run, notice that nothing happens, right? Because all I've done is defined a five-point star. So I'm going to say this defines a five-point star. And what we have to do now is call it. So I'm going to say call. And so if I scroll down, I would say uh, five star. And I want to use the length of 50. And now notice that this is the input length, which is going to replace this variable and be called up as the length here or substituted in. So that's probably a good place to end for today. Go ahead and play with that, play with calling it, and uh, we'll, we'll pick up uh, with this idea of modeling something in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching.